Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to a very light, pretty much a lightning round of Wade Watches. I'm Wade. Uh, welcome to another lightning round, scaring myself shitless Halloween review. Um, once again, life intervened. Can't always edit all of them. So um, this scaring myself shitless Halloween review is going to be for The Invisible Man from 1933, directed by James Whale, same one who did uh, Frankenstein, and starring Claude Rains. And another name I'm just going to drop because I was surprised to see him is Henry Travers, same guy who plays Clarence in The Guardian Angel from It's a Wonderful Life. It was great to see him again in a very, very different movie. So um, I'm going to get right to it. I love this movie. Um, unlike unlike um, the experience I had with uh, wa watching The Wolfman, where um, regrettably I just wasn't um, you know, that engaged, engaged with it, apart from that um, kind of sympathetic angle of Juan Chang Jr. being that nice guy who just wrong place, wrong time. Apart from that, that just wasn't the most engaging movie to me. This was. This gave me everything i wanted um the, and i think the main the key ingredient that works that works um and makes this entire movie works is claude rains himself as this character um this is a very book accurate portrayal of the invisible man as it was written by hg wells a novel that i have read before seeing the movie i read the book first then i decided to uh, watch the movie version and i love how they took that um like just that pretty much like sadistic Megala, megalomaniacal nature of that character from the book and put it in the movie where this isn't a sympathetic character like the uh, Wolfman or Dracula or Frankenstein's monster or even someone like the creature from the Black Lagoon where they can't help what they are. Um, we see clearly in those in those films that I just mentioned that it's pretty much a burden for them to exist. Um, they can't help who they are. Unlike, unlike those monsters, the Invisible Man differs because he deliberately did this to himself and he knows that he's insanely powerful because, you know, if he strips naked, you, that's the whole thing. He's an invisible man. You can't see him. And he knows that, what, that he's capable of doing a lot of crazy stuff. And he in, relishes in every single second of that. He relishes in that fact. And they show it in this movie. And it made for one hell of a good time. He's basically like a world-class troll fucking with this small English town. Where, incidentally, the English characters themselves, they were funny. They were witty. Um, I liked I liked some of their banter with each other. I like kind of the denial. Like, oh, there's no Invisible Man until to there's no invisible man to oh shit there's an invisible man sadistically terrorizing us that was that was funny to watch that was engaging to watch but um yeah the anchor that holds this all together is the invisible man himself if i love seeing that contrast of someone of you know yeah i guess we could call him a monster he's part of that classic universal monster movie lineup where where it's not oh woe is me oh i'm such a tragic character or um i have to do this to survive or else I'm gonna die. No, this is this is I have this power. I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want with it, and it is beautiful from start to finish. I cannot recommend this one enough. This is by far my all-time favorite um, of those like classic Universal monster movies that everybody references, cites, and you know the one the monsters that are you know pretty much like kind of like the mascots of this upcoming holiday halloween um this is my favorite so far masterpiece and wrapping it up i'm definitely going to give the invisible man from 1933 a perfect 10 out of 10 i love this movie more than any of the much to my surprise this was better than any of the ones i previously watched both you know for for this series and also just you know having watched it in the past um, i love this one the most i love 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 the invisible man awesome movie Epic performance by uh, Claude Rains. Much better here than he was playing the dad of the Wolfman. And, um, yeah, I if you haven't seen this one already, this one is definitely more underrated when in regards to, you know, like Bela Lugosi's Dracula or uh, Boris Karloff's Frankenstein. If you haven't seen this one already, I can't recommend it enough. Perfect, perfect uh, universal horror monster movie. 10 out of 10 for The Invisible Man. This has been another edition of Wave Watches, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.